Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. And I, a lot of people don't realize, but I do WordPress tutoring over the internet. I can tutor anybody anywhere in the world. I also build WordPress or create WordPress blogs and websites for small business owners, home-based business owners, etc. Now, when you get to jupitergym.com, somewhere I'm revamping the site, but there will be a link that will take you to Jupiter Jim's marketing team. This is the blog where I have all my WordPress video tutorials, thesis theme video tutorials, WordPress blog posts and articles, etc., etc. So if you want to receive my videos directly into your email inbox as soon as I create them, just go to whatever opt-in box that I happen to have on my site at that time and just put in your username, your email address, click that button, sign up, and you'll be on your way. So once again, that's jupitergym.com. Okay, let's get to the demo site. For today's lesson, um, I'm going to teach you how to create a new user for your WordPress blog. And the reason you might want to do that is you may want to give somebody else access to your WordPress blog, but you don't want to give them your username and password, so you create their own username and password. They may be a guest blogger, so you want to give them access as well. That could be another reason. So anyways, I've got the, I believe it's the default 2011 theme. Okay, on this just WordPress blog, it's got a static home page. It's just a demo site, it's very bland, very boring. We are using WordPress 3.5.1, but what I'm teaching you should probably work for all versions of WordPress past, present, and future, most likely. Okay, so let's log in. Go up here into the address bar, slash WP hyphen admin, okay? And once you do that, you can then hit enter or return on your computer and that will give you to the bring you to the login screen. This is a demo site so I'm just using this crazy login name of whoever putting in my little old password here. Click login. Okay, I'm in. So now you go to the dashboard, you go to user, all users. And you can see this is me, and I need to create a new. You, you could. This is my name that appears on the posts, and this is the email. This is my role, and I've created supposedly 23 posts on this. Okay, we're going to add a new user. Username. I'm just going to make it real simple. It's Claire. This is a friend of mine. Email is Claire at ClaireCalway.com. First name, in case you haven't caught on already is Claire and her last name many of you have already figured out is Calway her website I'm just gonna go to the website it's Calway.com control C command C to copy if you're on a Mac go here I'm going to control Victor or command V command Victor on a Mac to paste that in I'm gonna put in the new password and again, repeat hopefully the same sequence of letters and numbers. You probably should just click send this password to the new user by email. Now the most secure thing you could do would be to not check this and just call them up and say, hey, here's your new password. Okay, that's the most secure way to do it. Most people are just going to click here and have WordPress automatically send them their new username, login username, and password. Okay, the role for this particular person, I'm going to give them administrator role. I'm going to pretend that they need to come in or and fix something on my site, like I do for other clients at times, or perhaps we're going to be co-owners of this site and we're both going to create blog posts and we both are going to be in charge of updating plugins and all that stuff. Now, if I wanted to, I could perhaps just make her a contributor. Now, that's a good option if she was just going to be a guest blogger in doing an, a guest blog post once in a while. Uh, you really don't need to give her author or editor access. If you want to know more about the different roles that the users have, just go to the just go to wordpress.org and just search for WordPress user roles or you can go to Google and do the same thing. Okay, back here, um, I'm going to make her a and yeah, I guess I'll just leave her as contributor for now. 
No, let me just do admin. I don't know why. Okay, click add new user, and we're done. You know, her picture is associated with this email address, so that shows up. We've got her username. Her role is admin, and she has not created any posts. I'm going to log out. Password. Super duper secret password that I gave her. I'm logging in as Claire. Go back to user, all users. Uh, and since she's an admin, obviously she can't delete herself. She could delete me um, if she wanted to. And that's why you want to really trust that person you give the admin access to. Um, if somebody deleted you from your own blog, you could probably go to the web host company that's hosting you and probably get that straightened out. Um, and I guess that's basically it for now. I'll just go back here. You can see there's the website. Nothing's changed. or This automatically changes up here. And if you liked it, please feel free to share with friends, family, and loved one. Click like, leave a comment. Take care, and have a great day.